Okay, Darby, the emergency numbers and the number to the restaurant are on the refrigerator. Dinner's in the oven. And keep Trevor away from the microwave. If he says he needs it for a science project, he's lying. Got it. Wait, before you go, I've got a question. Well, it better be a yes or no question. We're supposed to meet Francine and Dave at the restaurant ten minutes ago. Can I go to the movies with Julie this weekend? Yes. Thanks, Mom, you're gorgeous, Dad. You can keep routing me. See ya. Wait. What movie is it? It's a nice family Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a scary movie called The Gobbler. Ooh, I've seen the previews for that. <laughs> Once the carving starts, the screaming doesn't stop. The Gobbler. <laughs> nice try, Trevor, but you're too young to see movies like that. They'll give you nightmares. <laughs> yeah, I saw Psycho when I was your age. I didn't take a shower again until I met your mother. <laughs> Now that's scary. So Thanks for babysitting, Garby. Oh, you're welcome. Oh. By the way, Emma and I were playing hide and go seek, and by accident, I sort of knocked over those golf clubs that you bought Ron for Christmas. But not to worry, I put the bow back on and hit them again. <laughs> Ron doesn't golf. I do. <laughs> bye bye. So, my mom finally opens the door, and I just walk right past everybody up to my room. To this day, my parents never asked why I was naked. <laughs> Hi, Trevor Ames. If you love to see the gobbler, do solemnly swear to close my eyes whenever there's any killing, carving, or eating of flesh. <laughs> you got a crumb there. Can't blame a guy for trying. So, how's dinner? Really nice. We went to this place called Le Petit Foiseau. That's French for little bird. Yeah, I thought it was French for this is a stick up. <laughs> Stop exaggerating. It wasn't that expensive. Oh, come on. Dave's my witness. When you thought he went to the bathroom, he was trying to sell his watch to the waiter. Right, Dave? Right? I thought the company was worth the price of the dinner. Thank you, David. Oh, a budding relationship. Make me sick. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Oh, she's got to do a smile at him. It's like kryptonite. Help me. Losing guyness must get away before I start hating football and liking make Ryan romantic comedies. You know, I could go for some coffee, Brian. Coming up. Dave? Thank you. <sighs> Trip, I'll give you five bucks for that sandwich. Didn't you just get back from dinner? Yeah, that doesn't mean I ate. Come on. <laughs> Thanks. But you never want a guy to see you eating a lot when you're first dating. Wow, you really like Dave. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Was that out loud? <laughs> well, you know, I think he uhs you too, Francine. Really? Oh, I hope so. You know, I just mentioned Petit Oiseau in passing last week, and there we were. I mean, that's the way he is. If I told him I like bear meat, there would be a dead grizzly on my porch tomorrow. Mmm, <laughs> this is heavenly. What is it? Cheese. You must be starving. <laughs> Francine? Mm. How do you take your coffee? Cream, two sugars. Thank you. Did anyone see where that landed? Yes. <laughs> nice flowers. They're yours. I know. I just wanted to hear someone say it. <laughs> Dave and I are meeting for lunch. Oh, Dave and I aren't meeting for lunch. But it was nice of him to send me these to make up for it, huh? Yeah. Gosh, the last time I got flowers is because my boyfriend thought I was dead. <laughs> I'm a very heavy sleeper. Now, you stop telling her she's ugly, and you stop telling her she's adopted. <sighs> I'll see you next week. Oh, my God, this is a dream come true. Ah, you finally got your settlement from choking on that squeeze cheese? No. It's from the Professional Orthodontist Society. They accepted my application. It's my first step toward becoming a fellow. 
I thought that showering after gym class and not hiding in the corner was the first step. Come on, man, I'm serious. This is the most prestigious professional society in all of orthodontia. Getting in means I've arrived. This is great. Uh huh. And Friday's the final test. They're coming for an on site evaluation. Well, good luck to you. All right, then. Let's see. I'll uh, bring in my best dental assistant, Vicky. All my files and case histories are in great shape. Then there's my office assistant. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> I think we may need a new angelfish. Uh, Darby, did you get the memo? No, what memo? Oh, uh, about tomorrow. You don't have to be here because the office is going to be closed. Why? For a very, very special day. It, it, it's Universe Appreciation Day. Yeah, it, it, there's, there's going to be a big rally downtown, free balloons for the kitties. Oh, Kenny Loggins! <laughs> Well, I guess it's about time the universe had its day. Ooh. It's long overdue. So here, why don't you take this, uh, take the rest of the day off, and uh, I don't know, we'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. Okay? okay wow, that was a great movie. Yeah. My favorite part was when the meat thermometer popped out of the guy's girlfriend. <laughs> or how about when the gobbler fell into that pot of boiling gravy? I bet it wasn't hot enough. There's gonna be a sequel. <laughs> gobbler 2. The leftovers. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool going to the movies on a weekday. Yeah. Here's your excuse for school tomorrow. Oh, let's see. What was I out for? Brain replacement! <laughs> that was just a joke. Here's the real one. Oh, okay. Constipation? How about a little dignity? Francine's boyfriend. That's not Francine he's kissing. No, it's not. Man, that is wrong. Maybe they're just friends. We're friends. Would I do that to you? <laughs> yeah, if you had a death wish. <laughs> Francine really likes this guy. He's busted, I'm telling my dad. Oh, that's a great idea. Your opening line should be, you know, a funny thing happened when I was cutting school today. <laughs> Guess I wouldn't get much further than that, would I? <laughs> Ew! He's sucking that woman's fingers! <laughs> now that's just unsanitary. <laughs> Three, four, five. Ha! Pennsylvania Avenue! That's mine. $800, please. Daddy's only got $500, honey. Okay, I'll take that. And your Marvin Gardens. <laughs> your turn. What's the point? I've been in jail for most of the game. <laughs> well, you might roll doubles and get out. I don't deserve to get out. Trevor, what's going on? Usually you like this game. I just don't have the real estate mogul instinct today. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in solitary. You know, he's been acting funny since he came home. Maybe he's coming down with something. Mm. One, two, three. Mediterranean. Ha <laughs> ha, that's mine, little girl. You owe me two dollars. <laughs> Here's a 20. Keep the change. <laughs> We just got back from Atlantic City. Francine and Dave got married. She can't marry him. He's bad. Did you tell her that? No. Well, then shut up and throw some rice at the newlyweds. Huh? The governor! Don't be silly, Trevor. That's the groom, Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. By the way, Trev, thanks for not saying anything to Francine about you know what. Let's have a party. <laughs> this can't be happening! Oh! This is awful! Where's Francine? 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 Oh no, not the music! <laughs> that smells good. Trevor, 
Let's talk turkey. I got a bone to pick with you. To the freezer with my neck and my giblets. Ah! This is all my fault. I'd kick your butt if I had any feet. Here. A screaming contest? <laughs> what's in the screaming contest? Sore loser. Trevor, what's wrong? You've been acting really weird. Did something happen at school? No, nothing happened at school. I know because I'm there every single day. Well, something must be wrong. You haven't been eating. I was starting to get a gut. <laughs> Trevor, I want to know the truth, and you're not leaving until I get it. Okay. My stomach has been bothering me. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry. Now I've got to go do my homework. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of pain is it? Is it sharp, dull? Yeah, it's sharp, dull pain that goes away when I do long division. <laughs> I'll call Francine and have her check it out. No, because the pain is gone and suddenly I'm hungry. <laughs> well, good. How about a turkey sandwich? <laughs> I'm going to call Francine. Well, I'm certainly glad Dr. Pike could spare you for a couple of days. I must say, this is a very impressive resume. You've worked for seven medical groups, three hospitals. And four wars. <laughs> United States Marine Corps Recon Charlie Company, Semper Fi! <laughs> well, uh, there, there seem to be a couple of years missing here. What were you doing between 78 and 82? That's classified. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, tomorrow's a very important day here for us. Yes, I'm very aware of that. Dr. William Gerber, head of the Professional Orthodontic Society, will be here at 1100 hours. I've done all the background research. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're as efficient as Dr. Pike said. I never sleep, sir. <laughs> Ron, if this doesn't impress the head of the admissions committee, I don't know what will. Bruce, what you are doing at Darby's wrong. Uh, I know, I know, but this is my shot. I mean, come on, look at her. Looks like somebody ran an air attack on these files. <laughs> I don't know about her. She offered to arm wrestle me for the last bagel this morning, and when I walked away, she called me a wuss. The office is closed, so we can make out in my uncle's dental chair <laughs> or in the reception area, except then all these people would be staring at us, and it'd kind of be like the bus ride on the way over here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, one more thing. Uh, my appointment book is a mess. I can't make any sense out of it. My other receptionist is a little flaky. <laughs> flaky? Hi, Darby. Happy Universe Day. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, okay. I hired a temp receptionist. No, 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 no. You, you, you don't understand. I, I mean, you know I have to get into the orthodontic society. I mean, everything has to be in tip-top shape. Thanks a lot, Uncle Bruce. Come on, Doug. Enjoy your universe day. Hi, Dr. Hanson. Trevor? Ames, Trevor, Dr. Bailey's office. I'm the double. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. I, uh, just don't know if I did a good thing. It doesn't matter. As long as they can't trace it back to the president. Mm hmm. Well, I'm happy to say I can't find a single thing wrong with you. Well, that's me. Help the other horse. I better get you on up out of here so you can get to your next patient. No, 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 no. Take your time. You're my last. Dave and I are doing something special tonight, so I'm cutting out early. I'm uh, playing hooky. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> You know, I plan to have a great time, especially now that I know you're okay. Oh, man, why'd you have to say that? What? Does that embarrass you? I'm sorry, Trevor, but I... I know! You don't have to say it. Bye. Bye. I love you. Now I am starting to feel sick. What do you mean? Dr. Belly, this is hard to say. I saw your boyfriend Dave kissing another woman. What? I'm sorry. When did you see him? When? Um, I think it was last night. <laughs> Trevor, Dave and I have been together every night this week from the time I leave this office until... Let's just say that his evenings are accounted for. 
but not as Dave. The truth is, I saw Dave Wednesday at lunchtime while I was cutting school. The day he couldn't make lunch. I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to get in trouble with playing hooky. Dr. Bailey, please don't tell my dad. Dr. Bailey? Hey, thanks for telling me. I know it took a lot. I won't tell your dad, I promise. Here you go. Mm. Yes, David, you are sorry indeed. No, 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 not now. What happened to General Patton? Her reserve unit got called up. <laughs> that woman made strong coffee. That was a woman, wasn't it? What am I supposed to do? The head of the admissions committee is due here at 1100... Great, now she's got me doing it. I called Darby and asked her to come in, and she told me to eat something that's, well, not edible. Yeah, well, you deserve it after what you did to her. <laughs> what? I gave her the day off. Yeah, so that she wouldn't find out what you were doing behind her back. But sometimes people do find out what goes on behind their back, like I did from a sweet, decent nine-year-old boy. But for his sake, I may have to break a promise to him. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I would be if I knew what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> Darby, what are you doing? Shh. Just saving your honey. <laughs> uh, Dr. Gerber, this is Dr. Hampton. Nice to meet you, doctor. Okay, right this way, we're going to put you in Dr. Hampton's office, and he'll be in in just a moment. Ah, and you're in for quite a treat this morning. Our first patient needs a titanium-coated implant to assist in the eruption of a cuspid. <laughs> now... I don't know about you, but it's my favorite procedure. <laughs> Darby, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Maybe you should just keep your mouth shut and concentrate on your patients. And don't tell your ball joke he's wearing a rug. Right. <laughs> Ooh, gotta go. Francine, can I talk to you? Damn. Sure, Ron. I'll see you next week, James. Come on in. Ron, I really can't stay. I'm kind of busy. You know, I thought we were friends, but... Friends don't keep secrets from one another. Oh, my God. How'd you find out? I called you last night. I got your voicemail. Hi, this is Francine Bailey, and your message is very important to me. If this is Dave... Die, 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 die! <laughs> Why don't you tell me you broke up with Dave? Dave? Why are we even talking about Dave? I have something far more important on my mind. You want to talk about it? 